Good morning, my friends. I'm Ben Hayes, pastor of First Baptist Church, Dadeville, Alabama, bringing you our thought for the day. Now, for you, it is Thursday morning. For me, it is Wednesday afternoon because I have the wonderful opportunity to uh, go down to Pensacola, Florida on Thursday to spend some time with my daughter and her husband and my granddaughters uh, as we celebrate, uh, celebrate Grandparents Day. Uh, we're just going to spend some time together with them and have a, a good time. I think they're fixing, uh, making a chocolate pumpkin cake, and we're going to have fun decorating that. So it'll be fun for us. I hope that you have started off your morning well, so get your Bible out. Uh, join with me in the book of Proverbs as we continue to walk our way through this book of wisdom, these wise sayings that guide us in our life. And I picked out a section of Proverbs chapter 14 that uh, I'm calling the three P's of prudence. The three P's of prudence. And I think you'll understand as we work our way through this. It says, the simple believes every word. I'm, by the way, I'm in verse 15. The simple believes every word, but the prudent considers well his steps. A wise man fears and departs from evil, but a fool rages and is self-confident. A quick-tempered man acts foolishly, and a man of wicked intentions is hated. The simple inherit folly, but the prudent are crowned with knowledge. The evil will bow before the good, and the wicked at the gates of the righteous. So I was looking at this this afternoon, just immediately. Three thoughts came to my mind. It just so happened they all happened to, to start with the letter P. And as you look at this, the first P of prudence is planning. That's what I want to talk to you about here. It says, the simple believes every word, but the prudent considers well his steps. That's what he's talking about. If uh, you're not prudent, if uh, you are the simple man, uh, you listen to what everybody else has to say and you may follow them. Uh, it kind of reminds me of the story of the preacher that had preached at a church and uh, he had filled in for the pastor and he was standing at the door by the pastor as folks were coming out. You know how people do when uh, you leave church and you shake the preacher's hand and say, man, what a great sermon that is. What a great uh, message you had for us today. Well, there was this uh, teenage boy that came through and he said, man, you preached too long. And uh, the visiting preacher just kind of looked at him and said a few minutes later, same boy came back through again. He says, boy, you were way too loud. And the uh, preacher kind of was a little uh, taken aback by that, but he said, this is just a young guy, I wouldn't pay attention, until the guy came through a third time, and he said, that was the most boring message I've ever heard. So finally, he looks over at the pastor, and he says, pastor, what is up with this young man? And the pastor looked at him and said, oh, don't worry about him, he just repeats what everybody else is saying. Yeah, I know, that's one of those preacher jokes, but that's what a simple person does. They, they believe every word, but the prudent plans, uh, departs from evil, uh, does all of these things that we need to do to make sure that we are walking in accordance with God's word. But the second word that we use here is patience. Uh, a prudent man is a, a planning man, but a prudent man is also a patient man. Look at what it says in verse 16. A fool rages and is self-confident. A quick-tempered man acts foolishly, and a man of wicked intentions is hated. But what does the wise man do? Back up in verse 16. He fears and departs from evil. See, there's a, a matter of patience that is there. He doesn't allow himself to be overcome with passion uh, or anger or fear and uh, respond in accordance with that. Instead, he takes a step back and he patiently deals with the people that, that come uh, and attack him. And that's one of the things that as believers we need to do today because we're going to find ourselves more and more under attack by a lost world and sometimes even by our own family members, and many times by people within the church who are truly not believers, who have not followed Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior of their lives, but they're playing the game of church, and they're tagging along with us on this journey, and uh, they respond just like lost people do in uh, anger and animosity. But a prudent man is a man who plans his steps. He does uh, what's necessary to get ready for the day and the week ahead. A prudent man is a patient man. He does not respond in anger when the attacks come. And then a prudent man is also a man of perseverance. Look at what he says down at the end. The simple inherit folly, but the prudent are crowned with knowledge. The evil will bow before the good, and the wicked at the gates of the righteous. Here's the thing. What King Solomon understood, what David 
the king understood, what we understand as believers, is that our reward is not in the here and now. Our reward is not immediate. The, the wicked are looking for rewards now. They want to overcome everybody so they can get what they think they deserve now. But the prudent man, the, the man or woman who is a true follower of Jesus Christ, perseveres to the end, knowing that that's when our reward will come. The prudent are crowned with knowledge, and that knowledge tells us that one day soon we're going to see Jesus. One day soon we're going to be with him. The wonderful news of the gospel is that when we trust in Jesus as Lord and Savior of our lives, we are saved from the penalty of sin. We don't have to worry about spending an eternity in hell, but we're also saved from the power of sin. Sin has no power over us, and we have the promise of, of God that we can withstand any temptation because he's going to give us the strength to do it if we will ask him, and then one day we will be saved from the presence of sin. When we go to heaven, there'll be no sin there, no sinful man or woman, no sinful thoughts or intentions, and we will be delivered. And that will be our reward. So persevere, prudent man, prudent woman. Be a patient person who uh, is planning constantly to see God's will. I hope that you have a great day today, and I will see you again in the morning. God bless.